we got the brown box again. Exquisite timepieces, sent over some more gems. This time Tyler said, well, what did he say? Because I didn't really pick. He said there was going to be some really cool orange, possibly. Let's check it out. I'm already seeing, I'm already seeing some orange. We can already see it before I even open it up. Let's dig in. Oh, dang. Now he's just taunting me. He's just taunting me. Um, I think if you're a regular viewer, you know that this is a watch that uh, I'd already had them send me and I've already videoed, but um, yeah. This is uh, this is one that I, I, I really wanna buy. So I need to make that happen. Um, I'm gonna talk to Tyler. I'm gonna see about maybe not sending this one back. I think it's time. I'm going to sell a few other watches. I think it's time to buy the ZRC. Uh, okay. Let's get into... Okay, cool. Literally, somebody in my Discord or on Instagram... I think it was on Instagram, actually, but it was a, a member of my Discord had sent this over. He's actually a fan of the Accutron uh, designs and everything. And this is a new release in an orange configuration. Uh, yeah. Yeah, pretty dang cool. Definitely not a watch that I would, you know, lust after. It's super cool. I get it. I understand the draw to it, the appeal to it, but it's not on my hit list. Um, love the fact that they did an orange on it. So um, let's keep going on that row. This one's kind of buried in there. Okay, another orange one. Dang it, Tyler uh, really went to town on the orange ones. So this is a new release of, I think there were some old stock. Um, I'm not sure exactly the the ratio if it was like all old stock or if there was new ones but the nevada gretchen um orange dial uh i think a 1000 something i don't know what the that's called the depth master check out this bracelet holy cow that is uh not a normal bracelet it's like it's really uh flimsy and can move around that's an interesting bracelet and very probably vintage inspired so very very rattly and bracelet like for sure um uh, obviously it's a bracelet but i mean like a like a jewelry bracelet doxa sub 300t so this one all right i'm gonna cue you in on something these actual two watches right here are on my short list Ah, the Doxa, shockingly, is more affordable than the ZRC. So now I'm in a bit of a dilemma. Because I want them both. I can't afford both. But this year, both are going to happen. So I need to figure that out and make that happen. This, um, I'm trying to remember if I've ever actually handled the Doxa 300T in the orange dial. The, the quintessential Doxa, right? Um, I don't know that I have. It's... It is such the perfect orange. Let's, uh, man, Tyler, you're like playing with my emotions here. Oh, okay, cool. This is uh, a watch that I know had gotten a lot of attention when it first came out. It has like a full patina appearance package to it. With the, the, the bezel, the case, the bracelet, everything is full patinaed out. And then, I mean, check out that dial. It's the uh, Clive. What is it? The Clive. I can't see the last name. Um, I'll have to do a little bit of research. I know. The Doxa fanboys out there and even the watch enthusiasts are out there going like, Rob, you're an idiot. That's clearly the blah, blah, blah. But I'm not a Doxa fanboy, guys. So um, I'm going to learn. Maybe you'll help me out in the comments. And what uh, there's, oh, wow, there's like script underneath in the bezel. Is that, that's, is that just that one? Yeah, that's not on that one. Wow, that's uh, something I just picked up and just noticed. So we have a, a great selection of orange watches. And then of course we have that other full patina Doxa. So happy that Exquisite Timepieces picked up Doxa and, and really even Nevada Gretchen was not that long ago they picked up. And actually even Accutron wasn't that long ago that they picked up. So they can just, they continue to pick up some of the bangers in the industry that as watch enthusiasts, we all love. Whatever your level of uh, purchasing power is at, 
they can accommodate you. I mean, you can go all the way down to a Seiko 5, you know, for a few hundred bucks, all the way up to hundreds of thousands of dollars if your budget allows. Exquisite has you covered. They're, you know, a massive, uh, over, it's over 60 brands that they're authorized dealer for now, not even including the insane pre-owned selection they have. And honestly, if you start talking to a regular salesperson there like Tyler, I'll give you his contact information down below. Even if you don't see it there, if they don't have it or if they're not an authorized dealer, they can get it. I guarantee you they can get it. As long as you're not, you know, jerking them around and you're actually a serious buyer, they can get it. Thanks for watching, guys. And Tyler, thank you for sending over some watches that uh, they got that they're I'm fired up about. I mean, two of them legit. Two out of the five, if I could afford it right now, I would keep those. I would buy those. That's awesome. I'll see you guys on the next bit.